RTX has hit the mainstream, and getting hold of real-time ray tracing and the performance-boosting DLSS is now more affordable than ever. I've put together a killer PC that's going to absolutely crush it at 1080p and 1440p gaming while unlocking the future of next generation graphics. The star of the show is the brand new RTX 2060, which was kindly sent out by Nvidia last week. It's the baby of the RTX range, but it's by far the best value at $349. Now that's still not cheap, but lying at the heart of our gaming computer is going to allow us to play the most demanding games like Battlefield 5 with real-time ray tracing and DLSS effects enabled. As this is primarily a gaming PC, we're also using a 6-core i5-9600K processor. It was sent out by Intel, as the i5 has always been the obvious choice for gaming computers, as its fast clock speeds and high IPC will allow us to hit sky-high frame rates that we'd most definitely need on those high refresh rate monitors. We're plopping the chip inside the ASUS Strix E, one of the latest generation Z390 boards that's not only full of hardware features, but it can automatically overclock your processor with artificial intelligence for optimal and then personalised settings. I received this from ASUS a few days ago, and I have to say that I've been really impressed with just how well the silvery black colour scheme actually matches the overall build theme. But to add a special colour, and to keep our CPU temperature under check, I've grabbed the Master Liquid 120R all-in-one from Cooler Master. If you're not wanting to overclock and you're not at all fussed by RGB, then it's safe to say that this is not the product for you. But if you are wanting to ensure the fastest possible CPU performance in games without deafening yourself in the process, then this is a great pick. Addressable RGB comes as standard, and you can even expand the system with extra fans and RGB using the included controller. On the RAM front, there's a couple of choices that you could go for, but with prices changing all of the time, it's definitely best to do a little shopping around. I'm suggesting a 3200MHz kit for the best performance, and I've always really loved the styling of G-Skills Trident Z. The solid style is much cheaper than the RGB variants, but if you have a little extra to spend, it really can make your rig look that much more fancy. Now, G-Skill did send out their special edition kit of their Royale RGB memory, which definitely won't increase your FPS and it does increase the cost, but it does look damn good in the process, so I guess it's worth considering. Storage is a very interesting one, as there are so many different options available. If you're new to PC gaming, then I'd still recommend a single, larger SSD, but in terms of price and performance, a budget SSD and a large hard drive is still the best way to go for a dedicated gaming PC with a large existing game library. But most games actually aren't really that optimised for SSDs, you will find that some games will perform better with them. This is something I've already explored, so if you do want to see the real world performance with PCIe SSDs, SATA and hard drives, you can find that video in the top right hand corner of your screen. Powering this machine, we have the Straight Power 11, which was really kindly sent out by Be Quiet. Now, I've actually used this before, as it's reliable, quiet, and then uses jet black cables for a cleaner build. It's also modular, so you only need to use the cables that you need, and rather affordable considering its efficiency rating. Now, I am using the 650 watt variant in this build, but you should actually be able to go down as low as 450 without any real issues considering the components we're using. The build process itself was actually incredibly simple, thanks in most part to our case, the Fantex P300. Now I have used this before, but I love just how premium the enclosure looks and feels, especially bearing in mind it's available for such a low price. The only real caveat is that you do only get one fan fitted as standard. So here I've replaced it with the Silent Wings fans from Be Quiet, but you could also consider upgrading to Cooler Master's ARGB fans that will give you an even brighter look and feel. In terms of RGB strips, I have used a single one along the side that will give us a nice bit of accent lighting. On the whole then, I am really pleased with the computer, as while it's minimal in size and looks, it's very clean and it packs a serious punch. In terms of performance numbers, we're looking very strong across the board. It's all about the resolution you want to play at, as while 4K is indeed the best looking, it's 1440p that's always been the sweet spot, as it's a much cheaper way to get better than console visuals and of course frame rates. You'll have no issues playing at high refresh rates at Full HD and QHD, as all of these numbers are taken at ultra settings, and I'm sure most of us would happily reduce some of them to hit 120 frames a second in our favourite multiplayer titles. But of course, as we're using the 2060, we can also turn on RTX effects in games like Battlefield 5, 
and then gain real-time ray tracing for even higher quality reflections. Unfortunately, this will lose us some performance, which in games like Battlefield 5 isn't really that desirable, so you're probably going to want to offset this using DLSS, which works like anti-aliasing except it gives you a much higher frame rate. In conclusion, if you're after a price performance computer in 2019, then I think you can't really do much better than this. I'll leave links for current pricing down in the description below, as well as for all of the gear I use in my personal setup, but what do you guys make of this PC? What do you like? What would you change? Let me know down in that comment section below, but while you're down there, please hit the like button as it really helps out and lets others know this is a video worth watching. Do hit the subscribe button as well if you want more PC builds and other PC gaming related videos. A massive thank you to you guys for watching, to REG for sponsoring this channel as always, and I think I'll see you in the next one.